good. All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakhurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect. Within the nation of Israel and Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And uh, we also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, with the brothers from the Great Millstone branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit. Howard Kakwadash and uh, Lord's will, I want to entitle this uh, Be Ready, Be Unmovable. All right, and this is based off of uh, um, an article all right, that I came across or a notification that I came across of, of uh, about what they're about to roll out. And we experienced this prior, you know, when the whole C-19 thing was going down, but they're going to start rolling out more of, uh, more of these juice mandates. All right, so if you want to read just the headline on that Come. one and the other one, Baba Kusha. It says, now, who's, which is, uh, right, who's World Health Organization, mm -hmm. Tedro says, the increase in hospitalizations and deaths show that c C V I D, you know what we talking about, right? Mm -hmm. The C19 is here to stay, and that we will continue to need tools to fight it. Right. So we will continue to need tools to fight it. Now, last week I took a screenshot of this. Now this is from Disclosed TV. All right, I took a little screenshot of that. Right. And then in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, what are these tools that they're going to use to fight it? Obviously, it's going to be more mandates. Right. Now you can read that next one that came up. Uh, uh, I came across this yesterday. Yep. It says FDA is expected to approve a new round of uh, injections mm -hmm. against C19 by Pfizer and Moderna as early as Monday. Right. So they're talking about approving this already all right, and start rolling out this uh, uh, juice. Right. Now, as we get further or deeper into this. All right. The restrictions are going to be a lot more severe, all right, than what they were in the past times when we had to go through this whole demic, right? You got to be careful with the words on, you know, these certain things, man. But we have to have the mentality of being what? Ready and unmovable, man. All right. And without further ado, we'll hop right into it through the spirit. Uh, you want to grab Come. First Maccabees 1 and uh, 54, Bible Kusha. This is First Maccabees so, chapter 1 and verse... Because every when you read throughout our, our, our forefathers' history, man, in each uh, each captivity, all right, there was always a time where a uh, great pressure was being applied, and it was shown forth who was truly a believer in the heavenly Father, who was going to hold fast to the covenant, and who wasn't. And this is the we're coming to the time where we have to show that, man. Hey, what did uh, Paul say in the book of Hebrews and uh, the twelfth chapter? It says, "Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, right? But it comes a point to where you're going to have to resist at all costs." Uh, regardless of the consequences, regardless of the threats that are being made against us, against our livelihoods, right? Against us being able to sustain ourselves, we have to trust in Yahweh by Shimei man. All right, but you got it. You want me to start at 54, you said? Come on, Bible Okay, this is 1 Maccabees 1 and 54. Now, the 15th day of the month, Cassiel, in the 140th and 5th year, they set up the abomination of desolation upon the altar mm -hmm. and built idol altars throughout the cities. Of Judah on every side. All right now, this is going into the Greek captivity, right? Now I'm gonna apply this in the spirit into what it talks about the different idol altars throughout the cities, right? Well, I want to apply it into uh, uh, when they're gonna actually set up these uh, these uh, sea hipping stations, all right? You know, they're gonna be having these different stations and so on and so forth, and you're gonna have people that are going there getting sea hipped, right? But go ahead. Yep, it says verse 55. And burnt incense. Because that's what this uh, uh, juice is going to lead into. All right. They're going to, they got the juice that's being rolled out, but it's going to lead eventually into people getting sea hipped. Right. But go ahead. Yep. It says, and burnt incense at the doors of their houses and in their, and in the streets. Oh, that's crazy. I seen a nigga. I was at the store before I came, o uh, came over here. This nigga's shirt is a, it's an Edomite. His shirt said, um, uh, what's the word? Um, juiced up AF. All right. Mm. But the actual word, obviously, right. juiced up AF, some Edomite, big ass belly, little ass legs, hunchback. All right. It, it, all type of fucking problems going on with this nigga. Just walking with a shirt <laughs> like 
Right. You know, <laughs> representing that shit. Right, representing that shit, and you know that that that's what we're talking about now. Yeah. But. And then here it is, uh, because what they're gonna do is just like they did once again. What we went through a couple years back. What was that? Twenty nineteen. Yeah. I can't remember. Twenty and going into twenty twenty. Really twenty twenty. Yep. Yep. The so beginning of twenty twenty. What you saw was they were demonizing people that were uh, not getting it, man. All right, you were pretty much being labeled a terrorist. All right, they were making different uh, arguments. It's not even about you. It's about your loved ones. All right, you're protecting your loved ones. Okay, and if you don't want to do that, then you're, you you deserve to die. And all types yeah. of crazy shit people were saying, but it's showing you the narrative, man. That's why the scripture says, Marvel not if the whole world hated you. All right, there's going to be a... a, a, a there's going to be... um. Uh, what's the word for it? Like a uh, media, not even media, but it's going to be pretty much a, a whole movement yeah. of demon, demonizing people that don't get the uh, the C hip, demonizing people that ain't uh, 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 juiced in. Right. And we have to be able to stand in boldness in the faces of all of those that hate us. All right. And stand boldly for what we believe in, man. Right. Stand boldly for the covenant as our forefathers did, man. Being an Israelite is going to be uncomfortable in these times that we coming into. Just like we read now here in history. When the Greeks, when the Edomites first came into rulership, they made it uncomfortable for us to be who we are. Yeah. They made it uncomfortable for us to be the sons of God. And that's why many of the Israelites consented to this devil's strange religion and followed after his wicked ways. But there was a small few that said, look, we'd we rather die than to follow after your ways. We'd rather die than to turn our back on our father and, our co and, and, and the covenant that we made with him, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 54, it says, now the 15th day of the month of Salakia. Uh, we already read that. Verse 55, I'll read it again. It says, and burnt incense at the doors of their houses and in the streets. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, which they found, they burnt them with fire. Mm -hmm. Show you even in these days, they're going to outlaw the Bible, man. Yeah. They're going to outlaw the Bible and anybody that subscribes to what's written in the Bible is going to be persecuted. Yeah, you're already seeing that because anybody that anything that's speaking against the whole alphabet community is being demonized, man. All right. And the Bible clearly speaks against it. OK, so they're they're trying to get rid of that. All right. Yeah. You know, you got people making arguments. So oh, that book is so outdated. You got people trying to make a, a, a alphabet Bible. All types of just ridiculousness, man. All right. But go ahead. And what and wheresoever. Hey, the scriptures talk about in the book of First John that uh, it talks about the, the time of the anti-Messiah. All right. It says there's many anti-Messiahs. So it's not one individual that's the anti-Christ, so to speak. Right. No, it's a spirit. All right. That's dwelling in all these people that are against these words, man. Against these scriptures. They're mm -hmm. anti-Messiah. If you're against these words, you're an anti-Messiah, man. But go ahead. Right. And we with Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. He's the Messiah, so they're gonna be against us. Mm -hmm. That's why it comes. Uh, that's why it says, "Stand boldly and stiffly for His name," because it's gonna come with opposition. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come with, a, you know, a, that just that an opposition. Yeah. Contending for the faith comes with an enemy, comes with an adversary, which mm -hmm. is what the whole entire world is gonna come against us, man. Yep, that great pressure. That's why in the book of Sirach four and twenty eight it says, "Strive for the truth unto death." And the Lord shall fight for thee. So we have to have the mentality of if it comes down to dying, I'm willing to lay down my life for the covenant. All right. That has to be our mentality. If we're going into this time without that mentality, man, whatever you're holding on to, whatever the case may be, that could be your downfall because you're trying to hold on to that. Are you afraid of uh, uh, giving it all up? We have to. Hey, these things should be already given up in, in, in our minds and our spirits, whatever the case it may be, man. All right. Right. It says uh, they that's on the housetop. Pretty much, don't go back in. Yeah, Let me read for you real quick. Mm -hmm. It's the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 and 17. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Right. Now, this is going into uh, during the time of 70 AD. All right. Mm -hmm. When those troops were coming around, the Lord had said, when you see them troops, you need to flee to the mountains, man. Don't go back and try and grab this and that and the third. You got to let everything go. Yeah. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Right, because what would happen? If you were to, oh, snap, I forgot this, or man, I, I really need this, right? And you try and go back and get that shit, then when them troops were surrounded, That's it was it. a wrap. Yeah, you stuck. You was going to be slaughtered, right? right? And it's the same thing in this time period, man. If there's certain things that you could be holding on to, right, not uh, or afraid to give up, whatever the case may be, that could end up being your death, your downfall, man. 
because that's what Esau is going to do, man. Uh, the things that people care about or things that people love and so on and so forth, he's going he's gonna to threaten those things, all right, to yeah. get you to submit and to fold and to getting the sea hip, to getting all this juice swirling through you and shit like that, man. Yeah, that movie Heat, that, that slogan yeah. was when that heat around the corner, you got to be able to drop everything in 60 seconds and leave. All right, so it's the same mentality, man. It's going to come a time where it's, say hey, it's time to move. Yeah. You're not, don't go back in the house to get that Gucci belt, all right? Don't go back in the house to get them pair of Jordans, okay? Or anything, man, okay? Fuck that house. Fuck that car. Keep it pushing, man. Back in 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 56, when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they found, they burnt them with fire. And wheresoever was found, and wheresoever was found any the book of the testament, or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should put him to death. All right, and we're coming into these times again in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 17th verse, it says that the dragon was wroth with the woman and meant, went to make war with the remnant of her seed. All right, those that keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right, so this devil's going to come down with great wrath, chiefly against who, man? All right, first and foremost, unto those that are keeping the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony, man, which is the believers and the prophets, all right, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. All right, so we have to know that, look, he's going to come after us, man. And when he comes after us, we have to have the mentality of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all right, the mentality of the faithful in this time period, the mentality of Judas Maccabees, all right, the mentality of Daniel, right? This is going to allow us to be delivered in the book of Revelation. I'm going to read this real quick. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So we got to know that we will suffer certain things. But it says, don't fear, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. We can find ourselves in concentration camps, right? All types of different situations, man, right? It says, uh, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried. And ye shall be, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So that's our only option: remain faithful unto death. Okay. And these different little trial things, all right, them mandating the juice and so on and so forth, man. We got to be faithful through all this, man. All right, to the end, right? And then we'll receive a crown from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. But you got it. That's right. Back in First Maccabees chapter one, and verse fifty-eight. Thus did they by their authority unto the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the cities. Now the five and twenty now the five and twentieth day of the month they did sacrifice upon the idol altar, which was upon the altar of Yahweh, at which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. All right, so this devil ain't give a damn, all right, because it was a woman. All right, this and that and the third, no, okay. He's going to come down, all right, against everyone, all right? You just you just being a, a, a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, all right, you being an Israelite, all right, there's a target on your back. Mm -hmm. All right, it says there should be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, mm -hmm. right? So that insurrection is a what? It's an uprising, all right? So there's going to be an uprising against us, man. The time of Jacob's trouble. Yep. It's called Jacob's trouble for a reason because Jacob's going to be a target. That's right. The descendants of Jacob. Is like the brother said, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're just a target because of that, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, much more if you know that you're an Israelite, you're an even bigger target, man. Yeah. Okay? It's, so that's when that's when faith is going to be shown. Faith is shown in the fire. All yeah. right? That, that, adversity. That, that's exactly an adversity. Okay? Faith is not shown when everything's smooth, when everything's straight, when everything's comfortable. Anybody can say they believe then. But how, does, how, how do you prove that? You prove that by, you know, fire. It says the trial of our faith, much more precious than fine gold that perishes, showing mm -hmm. you that faith is tried just like gold is tried, man. Mm -hmm. Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Oh, that scripture just said it that the brother read in Revelation. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. The devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. What's being tried? Our faith. All right. Mm -hmm. Suffering tries our going through suffering and remaining faithful. That shows that you truly have faith, man. Yeah. But if someone someone says that, yeah, I believe and fuck that C hip and, you know, Kwame Asherah and all that, all that rah rah. But when you see them start suffering and all that goes out the window, that shows that they never really have faith, man. Mm -hmm. That shows that they was never really about it. So the fire is going to prove who's really with it and who's really and who's not.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to back you up real yep. quick. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians <clears throat> chapter 3 and verse uh, 13. It says, uh, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. All right. So we're going to see if you gold and silver and precious stones or we're going to see if you wood, hay and stubble. All right. The fire either going to make you or it's going to break you. You're going to either be gold or your ass going to be your, your ass going to fold. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's no in between. Is no in between, man. Okay, and the trials and tribulations that we go through right now is it, we go through it to build upon our faith, man. Yeah. It's getting us ready for these dark times that we coming into, man. Yeah. For these trying times that we coming into. It says that more evils which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Therefore, set your house in order and cast off the mortal thoughts. That's right. Roughly paraphrasing. You got something else? Yeah, we have Job chapter 23 and 10. But he knoweth mm -hmm. the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. So he said, when I'm put in the fire, I'm going to come out as gold. How do we come out as gold, right? It says, my foot hath held his steps. The way, his way have I kept and not declined. So we're going to have to show this. All right. So the fire is going to come down. Look, you can't go to work. All right. You can't go to the grocery store. We're you can't go to the gym, right? You can't do none of the shit that you used to do, right? Unless you get this this uh, uh, juice, right? Well, how are we going to come out as gold? Well, it says, my foot hath held his steps. So regardless of what we're being threatened with, we're going to hold fast and do what he told us to do. All right, we ain't going to get no, no fucking juice in us. I don't want to watch his eye. All right, none of that C-hip shit, right? This is how we show forth that we're gold. It says, his way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed his words. Uh, I've, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Mm. So it's like, shit, this is what we're going to go with. We're going to go with trust and belief in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, knowing that he's going to fight for us, knowing that what he's going to provide and keep us as long as we show forth our integrity, man. But you got yeah. it back. Back in 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 60, at which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. So that's for the sisters right there, man. You know, all that shalom and stuff on the uh, emojis on the comic board, that's, that's cool and all, but you know they're going to come after you because of that. Just because of that comment or just because of that subscription, just because you're watching, you, you pop up on the list now. Mm -hmm. You will be tried as well. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now, you know, uh, getting with a man that has multiple, you know, that has other women don't sound too bad, huh? Knowing that they're going to come, come for you as well. Okay? Israel's a target, period. But it says, verse 61, and they hang the infants about their necks. No mercy. They're not showing, they ain't going to show no mercy. Yeah. You think they're going to show mercy in these times? They never show mercy. When shit really got fiery between Jacob and Esau, Esau made sure he didn't show no mercy to the old, to the young, to women, nothing, no, but not, nah, none. All right? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to be showing mercy. Even these niggas that's juiced in, you stupid niggas, you stupid, dumb, goofy niggas. You think that you're going to go into a bunker with them, man? All right? You think that these, these niggas going to take care of you when shit really, when Yahweh Shai returns? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to know when you can hide behind. All right. It says, and they hang the infants about their necks and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them. Mm -hmm. Howbeit many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed within themselves. Right. So even confirmed though. Confirmed in themselves, Salakia. Nah, so even though all that hell was coming down, you still had believers that were fully resolved. All right. Confirmed in themselves, man, not to eat that bullshit, man, because they were trying to force them to eat swine's flesh, right? Are you going to have these same individuals that are back in this time period living today that are going to be fully resolved not to get no juice and not to get sea hip, man? Right? Yeah. It's first Mac because it's dumb. I mean, Lord's will, that's really our mentality right now, you know, and that's going and, and that mentality is going to be tried. Again, it's easy to say, mm -hmm. but if you really think about it, it's dumb as hell. You go and get the juice. You drop dead. You 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 drop dead, or you start having a zombie. It, yeah. You turn <laughs> to a zombie or whatever the fuck about to happen to these people. We already seen what been happening to them now. 
Yeah, all right. Yeah, everybody just falling suddenly. Right. Yeah. It just getting deleted. All right. But then, or you get the karagma, right? You get the karagma, and then you're gonna get cancer, a grievous sore, and then ultimately you're gonna die in nuclear fire or get zapped by a chariot. You're gonna die either way. So you, we might as well go out with our honor if that's what we're faced with. If that's what it comes to, man. There's nothing here to live for. We just did the lesson. There's nothing else. There's nothing else but this word. So if anything, there's nothing else but this word and serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So if anything gets in the way with that, then you can just, I, I'll go back to the spiritual world. If that's what the Lord has written for me. All right. It, 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 you know, if, if you have power, what did Yahweh Shai say to Pilate? He said, you don't have power, but uh, the only power that you can have is what's been given on to you. Roughly paraphrasing. It's in the book of John. All right, so if the Lord, you know, if, if that's what is written for any of us, then that's what it's going to have to be, man. Yeah. It says in Ecclesiastes, no man has power to retain the spirit in the day of one's death. Roughly paraphrasing. So it's, if it's your time to go, yeah. go out like a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. If it's our time to go, go out. Let's go out with our honor. Let's go out with our faith. Yeah, so yeah. that when we do go to the spiritual realm, we ain't got nothing to fucking be to regret. We went out trusting in the Lord. We went out. Sh you know, showing our allegiance to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So like, well, I was just thinking about uh, what Judas Maccabee said, man. Yeah. Uh, he was going into a battle, and then he was exhorting his men. He is like, yeah. shit, if it's our time, then let it be our time. But we gonna go out and die manfully. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. So that's the mentality, man. Because we know that certain individuals are gonna be martyrs, but that's fine. Because what the Lord could raise you right back up, and you can have spiritual power and. Handle all of that business. The Lord is going to raise <laughs> anyone that dies in Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall be raised up first, as the scriptures say, man. It says, Blessed are they that die in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, for their works do follow them and they rest from their labors. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh, real quick. This first Maccabees 9 and 10. It says, Then Judas said, Yahweh forbid that I should do this thing and flee away from them. If our time be come, let us die manfully for our brethren and let us not stain our honor. Mm -hmm. And they won that battle. Mm -hmm. He was ready to die. He had the mentality, look, I, I'm, I'd rather die. And the Lord gave him the victory and put them niggas to flight, that, the, the, their enemies to flight, man. So this is the point of this video is moving with that mentality. Yep. Look, I'd rather die manfully than to stain my honor. Rather die manfully for, our, for my brethren. Okay. Start first and foremost for my God, my Creator Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, all right, and then the rest of my brothers that I've been down here suffering with, man. Don't fucking go out like no bitch. I'm talking to myself. And that day, that's the same same. We gotta talk to ourselves like that, man. Keep you on the right path, okay? Don't go out like no bitch. Don't go out like no sucker, man. Okay? Keep right. your integrity. And, and 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 you know, get down for your crown, man. Yep. And you know? like we uh we have been mentioning it was a couple weeks back. Here it is. The Lord put courageous spirits upon the woman in Maccabees, the mother. She had to watch her sons being tortured before her. Yeah, even she kept her integrity, man. Uh -huh. All right. Shit, uh, she was a believer. <laughs> I'm a uh, I don't want to write this out. I'm a man of the Lord. Right. First and foremost, man. So it's like shit. If she could show herself, all right. Well, the scripture says uh, what uh, the Lord uh, stirred up uh, her uh, manly, manly no, bowels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say manly bowels. But I know it said that she got filled with courageous spirits, man. So I'm praying to y'all about Shimmy. I was shot at uh, that. Shoot, I'll I be filled with courageous spirits. All right. That we get filled with courageous spirits to be able to stand in this time period, man. But if she could do it, man, all right, through the spirit and grace of y'all about Shimmy, I was shot, then hey, man, if sh I don't want to rot his eye. <laughs> We hold uh -huh. that same integrity, man. Ain't finna have a woman have more integrity than me. Right. I'm gonna read this real quick. This is 2 Maccabees 7 and 20. But the mother was marvelous above all mm -hmm. and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she bare it with a good courage mm -hmm. because of the hope that she had Ooh. in the in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Man, that shows you that faith. And we gotta pray for that. That's According right. in the last lesson, it's a gift. Not of ourselves, but it's from the Heavenly Father, man. We have to pray for 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 that hope. We have to pray for that faith, man, every single day. And we got to fast as well consistently uh, for the times that we coming into to be strong in the times that we coming into. 
after a fast, you're not automatically turn into fucking, um, you know, Superman. All right. You don't, you're not instantly flying right after, a, you know, a fast, but Hey, that adds up. I'm telling you it adds, keep fasting and fasting. We're going to see in these last days, the benefits of, of, of what we're doing now. We're going to see in, in the times that we're coming in, the benefits of what we've been doing now, the benefits of fasting, the benefits of reading, praying consistently, the benefits of, you know, uh, cutting off certain things and discipline. We're going to see, you know, the benefits uh, uh, in times that we're coming into more than we already do. There's already certain things that, you know, benefits that we see right now. But over time, you, we're going to see it even more, man. All right, when we're unmovable and unshakable in these last days, man. Mm -hmm. No matter what's going on, when we're calm in the uh, storm. All right, that goes back to it's starting now. The shit that we're going through right now and the things that we're doing in the spirit right now is building us up for the times to come. It's not something that you see instantly. All right, yeah, I've been doing so, so you know, I fasted twice this week. And, you know, then Saturday come and you you just levitate in that camp. All right. That's not how it works. But when all hell breaks out loose, we're going to see, man, there's going to be certain men that's going to get power. It's going to be certain men when all hell breaking loose. They they straight. They stable. It says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. This is going to keep up. It says in the book of Proverbs. Can you read that for me real quick? Proverbs 2 and um, 10. Okay. <clears throat> this is a uh, Proverbs chapter two and verse ten. When wisdom entereth in, into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Discretion shall preserve thee. Right. Go ahead. It says, understanding shall keep thee. Understanding, wisdom, discretion, understanding is what's going to preserve us and what's going to keep us. Go ahead. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things. To deliver us from this devil, man. Like King David said, deliver me from the hand of the wicked, which is thy sword. This wisdom is what's going to do that. This word is, is what's going to do that, man. Okay. So back in this first Maccabee, second Maccabees chapter seven, um, verse 20 again, it says, but the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of honorable memory for when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day. She bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courageous spirits and stirring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. She said unto them, and then it continues on, you know, you should know what she says. If you don't, hey, that's your read then. All right. But just going into that, that, the Lord is going to have to put that spirit on us in these last days, man. Yahweh sure. Shem Yahweh. We can say whatever we want right now. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has to be with us, man. There's a lot of dude. There's a lot of dudes we heard before that act like they, this is all I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know, this is all I got, man. I love y'all. I'll do anything for y'all. Where are you now? Probably talking shit, <laughs> scoffing, right? Not doing the work. This is all you had. But you ain't doing nothing for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. We already seen that. How much more when it's life and death, man? That's when it's going to be shown who is my chosen and who's not. It's second or 16. Then shall be know who, who is my chosen. Then. Then what? When all hell breaks out loose. When the devil come down having great wrath. When that uh, wrath of a great multitude is kindled upon us, man. All right? That's when it's going to be seen who the Lord is with, who he's not with, man. Okay. So back in 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 61. And they hanged the infants about their necks and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them. Howbeit many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Wherefore they chose and that, you know, to eat an unclean thing, that sea hip is unclean, man. You take that in your body, you unclean, you're defiled. And when the Lord comes back, you're not going to be saved. Even if you cut your damn hand off, man. You can cut your damn, you get that see if you cut your damn hand off, you're not going to make it. It says anyone that received this shall fucking die in the fire. Plain and simple. Ain't no, if you offended off my language, then hey, that's on you. Click off the video and go watch Blue's Clues or fucking Barney, man. 
This ain't no soft ass shit that we got going on. All right. This life and death that's about to happen. OK, a bus about to hit you if you ain't taking heed to what we saying. All right. Starting with the apostle to on down. You keep talking shit. Why y'all keep doing videos on the seat? If you ain't listening to what we saying, you're going to get fucked up. How about that? You you want me to say it like that? That's how Jake got to be talked talk to, man. Okay? He said I sent you to a stiff, stiff neck and rebellious people. So this is how we going to fucking talk through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. If you, if, I'll say how the Lord said it. Luke 13 and 3, lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He said if you don't, if you don't repent, you're going to die. Ain't no, that's the simplest way we can put it, man. If you're not listening to what we saying, because we, starting with the apostles on down, the Lord has given us his word. He has anointed us. He said, I have, uh, you have an unction from the Holy One, therefore you know all things. In the book of Acts, it says, uh, Acts, it says, these are the servants of the Most High that show us the way of salvation. If you're not following the servants of the Most High, and following their specific directions to get salvation, you will in fact die. All right, <laughs> plain and simple. No, you know, no, you got it. Come on. So it says, uh, First Maccabees chapter one and verse sixty-three. Wherefore they chose rather to die that they might not be defiled with meats. Mm -hmm. Same with us. We rather die than get some juice in us that's gonna defile us. They got all types of poison and witchcraft. Flowing in that serum, we rather just die than to just inject and wait to right, die. Right. To work a little bit longer for this devil and wait to die. What kind of stupid ass shit is that, man? I don't want that crappy deal. I don't want you know that damn happy meal and them little toys. Okay, we rather go back to the Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the name of His Son, and He tell us, "Well done, thou good and faithful servant. I seen what you did down there, and I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm proud." That you didn't fold in that situation where you say to Abraham, now I know that you fear me. Yeah. Now I know that you fear me. Here, take this chariot, all right? Take this chariot. You about to be back soon, right? It says, wherefore they chose rather to die that they might not be defiled with meats and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died and then, it's like, and there was great wrath upon Israel. And that's it, man. And we're about to reach that time of Great wrath again. And these are our forefathers, what they went through. You saw that many consented, all right? Mm -hmm. But many were fully resolved. Yep. And now that one rushes up, we'd be a part of that number that's fully resolved not to fuck with any of this mm -hmm. shit, man. Like it says, I'll end it off with this in Romans 11. This is uh, Romans 11 and verse uh, uh, four. four. It says, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, right? So there's a complete amount of individuals, all right, that's not going to bow the knee, man, okay? And we have to be in that mentality right now, going into that praying and fasting for that spirit to be upon us as well, man. That's you right. Know? That's daily, every day, man. Um, Psalms 51, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me and cast me not away from uh, your presence because that Holy Spirit is what's going to give us courageous spirits you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that that holy spirit is what's going to allow us to endure into that and it's what's going to allow us to to get his devil the middle finger yeah. but say fuck you fuck your c-hip all right uh, uh riley <laughs> <laughs> said, fuck that suit fuck that cheap ass suit fuck that <laughs> fuck that limo you came in on you know fuck fuck everything that you got going man okay we don't want no parts of it the holy spirit is what's going to hold us down Mm -hmm. Okay, it's what's gonna keep us unmovable. All right, mm -hmm. you can shut it out. Kind of, so, having that being said, Lord, is what I was edifying. We're gonna give all praises to, to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mills, so who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole for the elect. Pushing out this word all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're gonna say Shalom. Shalom, Baba Ball. Damn.